So I had a question today about how do you transition from a main menu to a multiplayer game instead of what we're doing with the embedded way. So right now we have a startup script and this is our main script and it contains our main menu, right? So this is what I'm using for the main menu uh, and it just looks like this. So I believe what this person is asking is if we have another scene that sits in front of that. So we have like a main scene. So that's what I built out here and I still just have a start game button and a start server host because how else am I gonna start it? But this is a completely separate scene. It is the main scene for the game. So it is the main scene now. And what I'm doing here is I wire up a start game button that will map to a main script. So I have two um, signals here, one for start uh, server and one for start game. The trick here, I guess, um, is I created this auto load uh, singleton called game config. So if you don't know what an auto load is, you go under project, project settings, auto load, uh, just create a script down here under the scripts and then you just add it, you find it through the path here and then you just add it and it should be good to go. So all I'm doing is in this initial, like what this could be is a main menu scene is I have this like game config so I can track state uh, of which button was pressed. That's the whole purpose of this script. Like if you look at the script, it just has a Boolean that says is server. If you go back to that menu, if I hit start game, it will hit this start game thing. It sets the server to false. And the inverse, if I hit start server, it does not, it leaves the server to true because it will be a server. And then we just change the scene to our startup screen. So we go right back to that normal startup scenario here, except I don't do anything with these buttons because if the change that I made in the startup script, so here's the startup script, when it gets ready, it also has that same auto loader and it says, okay, was this build as a dedicated server? Okay, probably not because we're testing locally. But if we have an is server set to true, I just automatically load the game's server mode. Like it automatically will just set up the server peer. Um, otherwise, if you had pressed the client, it just calls the on client pressed, which is just how you start up the client, which will load the level scene. Cause that's, you know, that's what this start game uh, fu function here actually does is it loads the level scene. Um, and we use this like kind of embedded like level loader here uh, so that we can take advantage of the multiplayer spawner. So you can add multiple levels here. So that's really why I like this is set up. And this is like from their documentation, from their example projects, uh, Godot's examples. But you can add whatever levels or maps that you want to add here. And then if the server loads it, uh, like what you're seeing here, it will automatically be spawned and loaded to the other clients in this in this level placeholder. So that's kind of why we keep it all under this script. But yeah, you can certainly move away and have a main menu script that sits in front of that. That's totally fine. This is probably not the best way to do this. There's probably a couple ways to handle how to go from one scene to another. If you look at Godot's documentation, they do have some strategies about loading scenes manually and what the ramifications are, what the pros and cons for each method are. I just picked the simplest one that I found, which in this case was just change scene to file. Uh, and it basically just kills the main scene. So you you lose access to that. But I'm not going to dive into that. That's not what this is for. But if, if we go ahead and demo this, it's hit play. And uh, so here's the main scene that's loaded. If I hit start server host, it just automatically starts the server. There's no in between menu, right? It didn't show this. Uh, the startup scene anymore. It just went directly into that because I just called directly to that function uh, on the ready in the ready block. And then on this one, this is like what the client will see. If I hit start game, if this is like, you know, you want to actually start the game, uh, you'll start game and it'll go directly into the scene like you can see here because that's what we just told it to do in this ready function. It detected that a client was pressed. So we just automatically load the uh, client peer. Uh, let me know if that's what you were looking for or not. I hope this helps. And if you have any other additional questions or anything, just let me know. Thanks for watching.